Slaughter Beach residents waking up to more cloudy skies, windy conditions and cold rain this morning, but they're focused not so much on the skies above. Instead, they're keeping a close eye on how much storm surges have eaten away at the dunes, which help to protect the community. 47 ABC's Hannah Cicchini has more from Slaughter Beach. Recent storm surges have caused flooding and erosion on Delaware's beaches and here in Slaughter Beach you can see that the water came just about 20 to 30 yards up the shoreline, dropping debris here and eating away at the dunes. Every time you hear a storm, it's like, oh, no, we're going to have to deal with that again. And it's just every time, you know, and, but if you had a little bit better barrier out here, I think they feel better. Slaughter Beach Mayor Bob Wood describing the worry that comes with a storm. Sand dunes, which usually serve as a protective barrier for the Bayside community, increasingly swept away by wind and the tide. Hurricanes are one thing, and I don't, I don't want hurricanes, but they come and go. But this particular hurricane was a double whammy because we got the hurricane first, and now we're having a nor'easter for three days. That's the first line of defense against a coastal storm. A community like Slaughter is also vulnerable to other things like flooding from the backside, the marsh in the bay. That squeeze from the backside comes from the Misbillion River, just on the other side of Slaughter Beach's main drag. You're going to have the direct effects out here, but... Because the Misspillion River runs right, right down here from Milford, and when you got a heavy east wind, it can't get out. So it backs up into the marsh, which is on the other side. Jesse Hayden with Denrec says the department has been diligently working to replenish the dunes with more sand and by planting beach grass. And that can help anchor the dune. That can help prevent windblown sand from uh, leaving the beach area. It helps grow the dune um, in a natural way. Uh, and that's one of the best ways people can help. Um, can help preserve and conserve the dune. But until beach grass planting season rolls back around, Mayor Wood is waiting for stronger reinforcements from Denrec. What we're really hoping is that they're going to come by with the sand in the next couple months. So that would be the, the, the first thing. Um, we didn't really have any other damage that way. And, and thank God I've seen what's been down at the, you know, on, on your station and you know, the other stations, what's been going on down by on the on the ocean beaches. Reporting in Slaughter Beach, Hannah Cicchini, 47 ABC, WMDT. Now, Mayor Wood also says he's hoping Congress will pass the Shore Act, which would renew the federal government's commitment to protecting and restoring coastlines across the nation. And he says that that would be a huge help to communities like Slaughter Beach, found in what is frequently called the lowest lying state in the nation.